Hey friends, this is Chuck Marone. It is our member drive this week. Um, I'm actually recording this when I'm in the UK. I'm in a little city called Poundbury, uh, outside of uh, southwest of London. And I'm here for a conference. I, I have to tell you, um, I gave a talk last night. Uh, people showed up and packed the room. I wasn't really sure what to expect because I've never spoken, uh, done a talk in uh, the UK before. Um, it's amazing because we have a lot of readers here, a lot of listeners, um, and quite a few members I have discovered and found out. Anyway, one of the topics last night, one of the things that they asked me was about housing. Um, Chuck, uh, we have this housing problem. We have this housing issue. We have this affordable housing crisis. Um, what's the Strong Town's approach to this? Hang on. So it's fascinating to me because it's the same problem, right? They have the whole NIMBY issue. They have the whole, you know, no kind of starter housing issue. And we talked about it and we talked through it. And the amazing thing is that I think a lot of the things that we're working on at Strong Towns, the idea of incremental development, the idea of every neighborhood needs to be able to evolve and adapt, um, is things that are in some ways uh, counterintuitive in a place like this where housing is very old, neighborhoods are very established, but yet it's also made such common sense to them. It's actually uh, something that they all were nodding. They all were saying, yes, like we think you've got it nailed and this is what we need to do. We need to create kind of a, a different floor on the market and be a lot more flexible. I I'm enthused because I feel like what we're doing at Strong Towns and you know, I'm gonna make a membership appeal here in a second. I think what we're doing at Strong Towns is we're actually, when it comes to housing, having a huge breakthrough. Um, we're not a, a YIMBY organization. We're not a NIMBY organization. Um, we're not, uh, you know, uh, trying to build housing everywhere, all time. You know, nobody's free to object. We're also not lock it down. Every neighborhood has to be able to evolve. Every neighborhood has to be able to change. Every neighborhood has to be able to experience growth and adaptation. And what we talk about is maturing. Um, so many of our neighborhoods in the U.S. are stuck in like an adolescent phase. They're stuck in uh, something less than their full maturity. And by unleashing that capacity, allowing them to evolve, allowing them to adapt, allowing them to change, uh, we're not only going to build much better places, but we're going to deal with this financial crisis we have. The fact that cities can't sustain themselves financially, the fact that they're not financially viable. This is how we actually go about fixing this. So, membership ask. Go become a member this week. Strongtowns.org dash membership. Uh, we need you. The reality is that your membership helps us not just reach people. I, I think that was... That was the appeal seven years ago. Reach people. Yes, your membership is gonna help us reach millions of people. Your membership is gonna help us reach a lot of people. But here's the thing, your membership is now starting to transform things. It's starting to empower local groups, starting to empower local decision makers, starting to roll out lots of tools. Uh, 2024 is gonna be all about tools. Um, your membership is supporting all that. So thanks to everyone who's become a member. And if you haven't, go do it today.